Kai Star Rail live playthrough. We are here. We are ready to go. Last time we left off. So last time we left off. We found out a lot about adventuring. We found a lot about what he's kind of doing like in the shadows kind of thing. Trying to connect these cornerstones. Which I guess we don't really know much of. We just know that he had topazes as well as themselves. Or his own. His themselves. I don't know, they're like also gemstones, which is interesting. But anyways, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's jump right into it. So we are we got into this room here. We are with Welt, and we're looking for clues. So let's go ahead and just jump right to it. So information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities in them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important That's memories. a cute light cone. According to Robin's interview, Despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. That's adorable. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Okay, it got a little real there towards the end, but okay. Let's go ahead and check this out here. This is... As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Pentacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and... Now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yeah, that checks out. Let's check here. So this is writing to Sunday. And this is from old Odie? It seems neither the Dream Master of Pentacone nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. What's up, robot? What's up, Queen? How you guys doing? Death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. What's up, John? How you doing? <laughs> doing good? I'm doing great, Robot. Thank you so much for asking. Steamed head of the Oak family. Uh, short gray hair. Start for superhero OCD. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Do they think that it was... Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Firefly? However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Maybe. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. 
I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Interesting. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? I mean, it's not wrong. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Uh, that's true. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest God, assured, God. he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Why would you say that right now? While the truth remains a mystery, Why would you say that right now? I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. Huh. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Yo, man, I don't know. It sounds like he's threatening us. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Interesting. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Huh. Okay. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Who is this? Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Holy shit. Jade? Damn, she is gorgeous. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, I know. you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult. But definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. 
You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Interesting. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Love it. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Hmm. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. Interesting. With yeah, this money, I'll climb to even for. greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I... I'm Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty Tonbas, I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth, status, power. Interesting. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be well, buried in dirt. It makes sense now why they he was you, a cop show. Though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. I May your her. plans never suffer failure. I mean, I think her hat's kind of dumb, but I love her. I love everything about Life her. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... It's a while. What would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure? Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. For him? What? What? Yeah, it is him. <sighs> My 
dreaming? Or have I gone completely Yo, insane? Yo, all of Penacoy is so trippy. Perhaps both. You've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself what is going than you. On? Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> what is going on? A grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. So trippy. <laughs> yeah, right? What exactly are you? Execute Order 66. That's pretty much what he wants to do. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just What's up, Glitch? How you doing? Outcome. What's up, Songs of Time? How you doing? I am your future. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, why are there no guests here? Uh, well, let me save this bird here. Yeah, it does sound like he kind of wants to like bring everyone down with him. Um, a little bit. Let's see. All right. So first things first, we definitely have to switch up this team setup because it's atrocious. Um, so let's do all or nothing. <laughs> Time will tell. As we reunite in this venture. Let's hope the fates grant us both what we seek. And then we'll we'll actually just bring a whole Pentacone team. Uh, and Lucia, I guess. Yeah, it does sound like he kind of wants to take his revenge out on everybody. Um, that's kind of what I got out of it. Um, but... Oh man, doing this on the... Um, my controller is really weird. Yeah, doing this on controller is really weird. It's like not as intuitive as you think it's gonna be. Cause like you have to like move it and then you have to hit circle, which is weird. Like, it's very odd. That's definitely right. Actually, maybe not. Yo, this is, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is like super hard. <laughs> I don't know what is making it super hard, but it, it just is. All right, so we do that. We move this over. And we, oh wait, I can't flip that down. Oh, but I can flip it all the way over here. Wait, is that not how that works? Oh, it's so... Yeah, I, you're not used to it. No, I know that, but, like, it's really awkward. Like... There we go. It's so awkward, because, like, you have to, like, select and then cancel out. Like... But, I mean, we did it. Okay, 
So we got rid of that. Just a Bepeshi? No. A child. Alright, so let's go here. Yeah, saying, uh... I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. There's a lot of miners in Golden hey, Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. <laughs> yeah, the bouncer of the club was a kid, if I remember correctly. Like, that whole area with the champagne bottles is full of kids. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungra. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. <sighs> Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Yeah, this isn't creepy. Where are your parents? Is that him? They're in that amusement park. It's gotta be him, right? Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. And Mama Fung... No, no, it... It All can't... Right. Yo, he's like bugging me. There aren't any Avgens left. Oh, well, it might just be these people. That actually kind of makes sense. Uh, it's a triangle that does the skill. Right, 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 right. Okay. So let's go in here. Hey, let's go. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. How you doing? Um. All right. I need to take these guys out. Feeling lucky. Um. All right. Okay. I'll see you off. Let's do. Switch him over. And we'll hit him so he switches over. Beautiful. And then we'll do. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or I love this I'll ultimate. It looks so cool. It it looks great. Destiny is apparent. It just looks great. Let's go here. It just—it's just a very satisfying one to look at. Underestimated you. Love it. All right, let's go. Boom, flip it positive. We're gonna do a blast here. I weep for the departed. Beautiful. Such a cool. I love it. I love it so damn much. You chose the wrong enemy. Uh, let's do. Doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll do a glass here in the middle. Destiny for oblivion. And then we're gonna do. Nice follow up here. Let's do. Uh, Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Actually, I'm there. We go next, anyways. Those are the nine. Uh, Distraction. It's gonna take down the clock. Ah, uh, damn! I thought I was gonna get rid of him. Uh, so we can just do a base here. Uh, another journey begins. Huh. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, good. Now let's go in here. Alright. Let's see. Is that not right? Is that not right? It looks right. 
Or did you just go woo 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 woo? Uh, okay, that was the exact same thing, but okay. Alright, so then what I need to do is back. I need to flip this. Like, no. Okay. Then I gotta do... Right? And then I gotta do... And then I just gotta move this over. No. There we go. There it is. Hey! Alright, I'll take this chest here. Thank you. Alright. Grab it over here. Grab that. Grab that. Let's make our way up here. Papa! Mama! Wait for me! Get the checkpoint. Okay. Pentecone's trippy, man. Family truly shows leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Pentecone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> of likely feet. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. Do I think uh, Panacone is the best world in Honkai right now? Yeah, absolutely. Doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. Absolutely. A conspiracy. Absolutely. Especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> Absolutely, oh, Pentacone. Everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <sighs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober, cautious. Massive inferiority complex. Yeah. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. That's fair. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking Yo, or disappear homie looks like he definitely gets pegged. Oh, you meant like caught, like in a. Got it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> wrong peg. Got it. Got it. Bellbog was your favorite? It was easy to follow? Yeah, Bellbog was definitely. Okay, so for me, 
It definitely goes Penacony, Bellabog, the Space Station, and Zincho. Oh, uh, the Lafu. I hated the Lafu. I really did not like the Lafu, like, at all. I, uh... I, it just it just wasn't my my thing. It was just so slow, and I don't know. It it just seems very long and slow, and just well, like the the end tale of the of the Lafu was pretty good. Uh, like everything with Tinguen, like was good, but like up to that point. It was so boring. It was dragging. Like, I was just like, oh my god, who cares about Don Hong and his emo boy? Ah, like, playing hide and ugh. I'm really good at this. It, it was just like. And everyone kind of had like the same boring personality. Like, it was just like, uh. I don't know, I just didn't, like, care for it. Um. Oh, boy. Y you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, oh, my God. Like, we get it. This up here. Uh, Stream four. Beautiful. I love the fact that I can just one shot these things and totally bypass fighting them. Oh my god. Look at that. Alright. Let's fix this clock here. Alright. Yeah, man. Oh my god. PC does this so much easier. It's insane. Alright. This one, we're gonna have to move this here. And then, that's as far as our gavin goes. And then, oh wait, can I just, can I? and easy. And then for here, uh, let's see, like that, right? Good. And now this has to be something like that, and then this just goes here, right? And then I move this over. And like that. No, that doesn't work. Tick tock! The module's stuck! Like, yeah, bro. Thanks. Uh. Huh. I need. You know what I need, probably? This guy's probably. I feel like this has to do something, no? Yeah. And then I think we move this out of the way. There we go. I was gonna say, like, there's no way they added this exact like this massive piece and never used it once. Nice! Okay, cool. Give me that. Give me my jades. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know when Jade's coming out, but I need that woman. Like, I need that woman so bad. What sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were 
like jackals hot on your heels. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. No, 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 no. She was pretty cool. Besides her hat, her hat was kind of cool. Wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on, it's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. Jeez, this guy's savage. Who is he? Now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed, after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to the end. You should enjoy it. All right. That child. Could he be in here? Okay. Before I even go over there, let me search this area for a little bit here. Let's pick this here. <laughs> All the sad tales. Go ahead and search pretty closely here. Got the bird. All right. Let's see. Get this here, and we'll go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Uh, we can do that fight in a little bit. I want to first talk to this guy. Okay, there's a clock thing there. Beautiful. Does this bring me back? No, it brings me to a whole section I haven't even been to yet. Okay. I don't want to do that just yet. Um, because I do want to progress the story because we do have events to get to as well. Uh, I will do this fight though. Um, I'm gonna set up a red dream. Make a wish. And I'm gonna win. That took too long. Uh, Eternal I'm gonna interview sleep with the Oh, here. I do like how they give you the moment to like pause, to like pick the ult, because that, that could be a little challenging I think like on controller, like, like to quickly Don't drop a ult to interrupt everything. Uh, it's not like just like a single button. Alright, let me do the blast attack, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it now. I weep for the Alright, let's go here. Yeah. It too shall fall. <laughs> All right, there's a no dirty Fox tricks. Go. All in. Nice. Oh man, I can't wait till adventuring comes out. I can't wait. I never thought I'd be saying this. But man, I can't wait till that guy comes out. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate is here. Let's do another here. journey begins. Destiny for oblivion. Good stuff. Probably don't you need Lucia, I just realized that really. Hedge your bets. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Alright. I do need Black Swan to get the hole. We're pretty much there. Memories are ever changing. 
Let's go here. Beneath the water lies an endless, endless abyss. abyss. All right, perfect. Then we're gonna do another blast right on here. You chose. Yeah, I could probably get yeah, Lucia out of here. I mean, get some characters that haven't had some some love. Get some love. Let's do some blood here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the ult. I weep for the departed. Let's do. It too shall fall. Good. Sure, I'll play along. Uh, let's Spend do. Spin freely. Shield and everybody. He's gonna do a little free drink. We'll reflect it all back to him. Watch your head. And we're gonna counter. Destiny isn't chosen. Uh? We're gonna attack you. I'll see you all. <laughs> Finish this guy off. Yep, perfect. Good. All right. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and pick that up this child. chest. Could he be in here? I'm very curious to see. Um, I really want to know. Hmm. If we can withdraw stuff from Clocky. But. Does it really matter because we can't really pull for anything, right? She's got. Oh, so Adventuring comes out not tomorrow, but in like two days. So Wednesday he'll come out. Oh. Well, that changes things a little bit. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Christian reply. I don't know what I don't know what the thing is. Alright, so let's see. There's a camera here. There's a guy over there. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of vibing, I guess. I didn't get to read what it said. Oh, is this like a little maze thing? Oh, I didn't need to do that. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Let's settle this. I mean it's fine, <laughs> but like That's half the work. I hit the mark. Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess it gives us a chance to get our old stuff, right? I don't know why. I feel like this could be like a you big fight coming up soon, enemy. so I guess it kind of works out. Free will, here. or was it fate? Head your back. Huh? All right. Another precious. That child. Is this? Is that Topaz? A topaz? What is this doing here? <sighs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Distracted enough for you to steal the third stone. 
stone right out from under them. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Pure mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. Interesting. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hand. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? It's Jade, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what Jade said when he received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... It's either Jade or Emerald. Jade. Yep, called it. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, Three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> well, what? I don't know what the cornerstone is. We'll do. find out. Soon. I want to know what they do. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, really does resemble its owner. Is that like his earring or something? As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. Oh, interesting. Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have yeah, to. Yeah, so I guess this that. is the harmony curse that was put on him. That's uh, the only thing the I is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Get out of here. Huh? All right. So nothing else is here. I just want to make sure. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, there's a little boy here, which is kind of creepy. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. That's weird. Don't call me that. <laughs> yes. We meet again. 
Please don't call me. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. <laughs> putting wow. many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. You dumbass doesn't know what a film is. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Uh, thanks, kid. I'm <laughs> sure. All right. So All right, let's make a movie apparently. All right, press the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash, it will trigger a turbo dash. Experience a short period of invulnerability. Energy can be accumulated by triggering Turbo Dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you'll enter into Nutty Blitz. Experience a long period of- What is this? Like, we're, we're like doing this like deep like... Thing where we're like, you know, finding out about these stones and like the IPC and like his trauma. And it's like, alright guys, but let's film a movie real quick. Like, about a hamster ball night called the Fast and Furry Nuts. Like, what is this? Like, honestly. Like... <laughs> the Fast and Fury Nuts. I kind of like that. Oh, uh, boy. Dude, they don't care about this game. This game, they just straight up said, like, let's just make it as troll as possible. Uh, the film's life is limited in movie mode. The progress bar indicates the film in progress. I'm sorry, we accumulate by conducting Turbo Dash, picking up supplies, or slamming into opponents, or obstacles to fail on the level. So, wait. I just want to be accumulating by picking up supplies, or. Oh, it's okay. So, you want to hit stuff when you're low, okay. Trigger the events above as many times as you can to achieve a target audience score. So, RL1 is the. Okay, so that makes me dodge everything. Got it. Hey! I'm kind of mad that I missed those few, but whatever, that works. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. And the kid is gone. So is my wallet. <laughs> All right. So that was that. Great. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, let's go over here. And then we'll go here. Let's go here. Why aren't you talking? my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. Well. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Uh, sure, bud. Whatever you say, man. Alright, so... This is where we have to... This is, I think, where I said I was gonna... Activate, and we have to rotate. So we're gonna go here, activate. Um, 
Boom. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. Let's open this door. So we have a nice shortcut. All right, awesome. And let's go here. There are so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's Got it. for you. Okay, so this is the maze. I mean, all right, let's go there. I mean, this is not really the most complicated, amazing. Thing. A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? All right. It, it is free, this... free of your chains. Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tonnes. Well, from what I, I mean... see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. You wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your so how are you just breezing by? Did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? A good old sparkle. Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back. Would they bloom into new flowers? Okay. That's where we're supposed to go. I want to explore a little bit more. Bingo. Let's go. Awesome. Good stuff. Let's go here and now let's backtrack. Before I go over there, search around. Okay. Good. So. Oh, shoot, I didn't even notice that. To put into words. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. Damn. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a 
a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't ever come. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. I don't think anyone gets it. I'm calling Cap. Like, I Enough. think it's fine. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ. Huh. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> I'm stuck to that start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The last word. The word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But who's exactly? Interesting. <laughs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Hey, Mr. Krabs, how you doing? Never see from me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? I mean, why it's not, so right? He got time. the blessing. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Alright, so we came over here. So now I have to go... Yeah. Let's go. This is a big circle, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um oh, finally made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't wanna go back yet. Oh shut up, kid. Kid, I'm not even related to you. I don't care. I actually could not care less. Um what it is but like I don't know what it is but man I I can't remember that I can't that I have to hit circle like I just don't know what it is and then is there like another no there isn't These are just not used straight up. Is there something over there? There is one over there. So... Now I do activate, rotate. Right, and then I do activate, rotate, and then I do activate, ro oh my god, rotate.
Huh. How does that not work? Does it not go straight here? Is that not right? I don't know how to get it to aim that way, though. Waiting for the next, uh, for the patch. I know, I know. I'm waiting for Aventry to come out, and I'm so, so excited. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. Alright. Let's go here. Let's grab this real quick. Alright, we got the bird. Awesome, awesome. I don't know what it is, but like, I just feel like they could have made this a little bit more intuitive. Like, something about like, like hitting a button to pick up like the pieces and stuff like, is just like not very, um, there we go, there we go. oh my god. I don't know. It's like something weird about it. I, I don't know. I don't know how to word it, but like, I you know what it is. It's just I'm too used to playing on the uh, on PC. I think that's what it really comes down to. I think that's what it really kind of boils down to. Control right. probably on the other side. All right. So let's see it down here. Where are you going? What? That's kind of funny. Alright. Let's, uh, Hanu this up. Uh, you're, you're waiting for Boot Hill? Gotcha. I'm not gonna lie to you, I totally could've got away with it. I totally could've got away with it and I just, like, sec- I looked at chat for a second and I just ran backwards like an idiot. What's this? Um, Hanu launcher after taking aim at enemy. Let's drop ammo. Oh. I mean, that's kind of broken. So. Uh, they make fireworks. Thanks. So now let's go here and we'll teleport over. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm loving this whole like little thing. Like this whole like little Hanu section. Like I'm loving every second of it. Like he's just so cool. Look at him. Look at how cool he is. So let's go. Oh, I can't go up the stairs. So let's go ahead and activate this. Okay. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. Of course. Of course, he's gonna make me go back there. Let's go back in here. Alright, I'll take that piece. I'll take that piece. I'll take this as well. Um, alright. right here. 
Beautiful. Let's return back to normal. All right. And let's do this puzzle here. Good. piece or whatever that works this goes right here this goes oh whoops oh. this here pop that there give me the chest piece here good there and there we go that makes much more sense all right good I'll take that. And now we're gonna go through here. Got the anchor. Okay. We're supposed to go up there, so I'm gonna go down here instead. Stream four. Run. Let's pick up this. Uh, here. Fortunately, now I'm out. So I'm kind of beat on that end. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. Stop. Right. All right, cool. Nice nose. Don't get complacent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead do boom. Memories are ever changing. And let's go. Uh, which puzzle world do Beneath I like the, the water best? Lies an endless abyss. Oh, man. Out of the four worlds in this current patch, which world puzzle is my favorite? What was Bellabox? I don't remember Bellabox. What is it? Oh, Bellabox was... Oh, my God. Why don't I remember Bellabox? I liked, honestly, I really liked. Um, the dice have been cast, or maybe I'll take it off. I really liked the cube from the Lafu, like the little Rubik's cube looking thing. Not the circles one. Circles one was fine, but. I really liked the cube. Um, I thought it was a little easy, but I did like the cube from the last one. I don't remember Bellabox. What was Bellabox? Well, wait, was Bellabox the... No, Herda was like the... On its own, you know. Bellabox was like the, the wires, right? Or was that the law food? Now I don't remember. I weep for oh, the part. Well, whatever. It's fine. It too shall fall. It is fine. I like the circuit thing. I thought that was kind of. Oh, not the circuit thing. The um. Yeah, I like the circuit one. That was pretty good. I don't care much for the. Um, Spin freely. The circles one on the Lafu I did not like. It wasn't bad, I just didn't like it. Um, the Penacony puzzles, I'm actually not the biggest fan of. Only because I find them a little easy. Free will, or was it fate? It was Fix the Wires. Okay, yeah, I did like the Fix the Wires one a lot, actually. I did like fixing the wires. Um, I thought actually all the puzzles were pretty darn good. Um, I really didn't like the circle one from the law food though. Because there were some that were just annoying. Uh, where I was like, really just kind of like over it after a while. Like, uh. 
destiny isn't tough. <laughs> Let's settle this. Yeah, the, I did not like the matrix matching thing. I thought it was. But the Lafu <laughs> also had the circles. I mean, uh, not the circles. The the cube. Eternal sleep is not the end. Right, that was the Lafu. Right. Dust for oblivion. Maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. What? Uh? I think that's been my biggest thing. I, I really didn't heart. like the uh, alignment of the circle thing. It too shall fall. There was one in particular. Most of them were easy, but there was one in particular that was just uh -huh. really frustrating. Um. <laughs> Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Ill tidings manifest. I will say the best enemies are definitely. This is what exploring though. the cosmos is all about. I, I think the. Uh... Yeah, I, I like the cube a lot. The box is a lot of fun. It was just interesting. I thought it was pretty easy, but like I, I still liked it. Like I, I thought it was still pretty good. The circles thing is whatever. The wire thing I like a lot. Um, <laughs> ah, it really is. Here with Clocky, I think it's fine. Like I, I very much think it's fine. Like I don't. Uh, the Hanu stuff is fun. Um, as of right now, I, I do like Hanu a lot. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. But I think Hanu's a little easy, I think, which is kind of boring. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. Really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, Mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? The cube in the circle I thing? That's fair. Those are good ones. Clocky you makes your head hurt? Yeah. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Admit it. You're tired. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. <laughs> Interesting. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. Oh my god, Mr. Krabs, I went on a whole rant about that, like a few, like a few different streams now.
drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red-hot chains, and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and I, I've, I don't know how many times I've made fun of Clocky, uh, like, throughout this whole time in Pentacony. I feel like it's once a stream now. <laughs> and as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death, and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. The luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Dude, I remember when we first got to Pentacony, I instantly thought if all your luck is Disney. built on the pain of Before we met Clocky. Before we even meet Clocky, go watch the stream when we first get to Pentacony. And the first thing I say is like I think this is, this feels like we're in Disney World. About like dreams and like making dreams come true and wishes and nighttime and stuff like that. That was all before Clocky. And then Clocky shows up and I'm like, yep, I'm convinced. I straight up said it before Clocky even showed up. Maybe when I get everything with the big hotel, the clocking in, and I'll know what the trip was all about. Fireworks and the big castle-looking thing in the distance. And then when they showed us Clocky, like the statue of Clocky, I was like, oh, this is the statue of Mickey Mouse. And then Clocky actually shows up, and he's like, hey there, Minnie. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, boy, this is Mickey Mouse. This is straight Mickey Mouse. And now, only we are left. Oh, boy, Trailblazer. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. Oh boy. Not another photo. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. Oh, absolutely, it's Disney World. You, I, I even so said it before, nice. like, no the the last stream, so we, we talked about this, where, like, I, uh, so sorry if I'm repeating myself again, y'all, but, 
Like the entrance to the amusement park you. is the exact same entrance Are you the same that as Disney World has. Black? Like it has like this overhang that has like two tunnel-like entrances. Like it's literally the exact same entrance. You chose the wrong enemy. Like, like no joke, it's the exact same entrance. <laughs> Another journey begins. Destiny for oblivion. Memories are ever changing. Beneath the waters lies an endless And it's like, oh abyss. boy! We need to reverse the clock and make everybody happy, huh? <laughs> like, Destiny like, is shut apparent. up, Clocky. Just shut up, Clocky. <laughs> It's just everything about like making dreams come true, even the dark side of like, you know, everything like. Attribution will find you. Watch your head. I weep for the departed. I know it's not ideal, but whatever. It too shall fall. It's I I literally couldn't believe like the similarities that it was. But I but I love it. Like I love it. Pentacony is definitely my favorite place that we've been to. For sure. I mean Bellabog is up there. But Pentacony man. It's just it's just been the most fun I think I've had. Every, even like the the enemies, like just so wacky. Like it's just, it's just interesting. Familiar. The the space station's uh, a solid thing. We didn't spend too much on the space station, so it's kind of like lackluster a little bit. But at least I don't feel yeah, like we spent more time on the space station. So. Let's settle this. Uh, but I, I do think the story was pretty straightforward. <laughs> That's half the work. Right, let's go. Just for oblivion. Head your bets. Uh, uh, whack him here. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate to say. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Free will, or was it fate? No. Right? Okay. Sure, I'll just play just along. Start it. Uh -huh. Boom. But man, no, the moment we came to the company, like, I know, like, sometimes, like, I, like, people be like, oh, it's recency bias and whatever, but, like, no. No, 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 no. Like, I, I believe for, like, no, no recency bias here. I hit the mark. I didn't mean to get wrong by I weep for the heart. It is, it is what it is now. It too shall fall. The dice have been cast. Uh... Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I mean, Watch Genshin, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think Fontaine is probably the best story. Let's right settle now. this. Tick tock on the clock. I, uh. No. For, for real, though, like, in, regarding Genshin, though, I, I like Fontaine a lot. And people will say it's a recency bias, but no, I actually do like Fontaine. I like the vibe. I would say Monstat's second. And Zuma third, Leeway fourth. Last, I hate uh, I uh <laughs> for oblivion. Any other tier list? Uh I will accept Inazuma and Monsa being switched. I wouldn't agree, but any other list is just straight wrong. You hate Sumer? Absolutely. Sumer sucked. It was so bad. It was so bad. Sumer was like literally the worst. Like, 
It was the only time where I could not keep up with the story because I could not care less. Like, the story wasn't bad, but the the land itself is so bad. Free will, or was it fate? Ugh. On the still waters of oblivion, I hit the mark. Ugh. It, it was just awful. Like, I like okay, I get it. Like, but at the same time, like, I could only walk in the desert for it so damn so long. Like, for the land of life, uh. to, for it to be a desert is the uh -huh. dumbest thing I've ever heard. You chose the wrong Like, because Dendry is supposed to represent begins. life, and you Destiny give me a barren wasteland of a desert. And I understand it's supposed to be like, you know, the separation of what, whatever, so like, is happening. Actor. But, like... No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a... Merchant. They, they've ruined Sumeru. But I do the have first part of Sumeru, which is all, like, the, the, like, the, the, the rainforest, like, grass area, was amazing. But I loved it. And them. then they introduced the desert, and then it was so bad. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> wow. Like and, and and that's just my my thing. Like if Sumer was more of the luscious, beautiful rainforest that it should have been. I would have loved it, but it wasn't. And that's the reality. I'm just wondering the same thing. Why put a desert? Yeah, it's supposed to represent life, and then they chose, nah, let's let's make it a desert. And I understand if you're trying to go with like the whole like withering process, like you know, of like the desert getting like, you know, destroyed and blah 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 blah, but like there, there comes a point where, like, you have to really... Like, like, literally, like, you don't have a grass element, you know what I'm saying? So there's no element of, like, grass, earth, nothing like that. The, the, like, Geo is the best thing, but Geo is too much of, like, rock. Like, it's not so much of, like, it is life as it is more of, like, rock. So, like, like, everything is all about, like, crystallize, you know, erosion, stuff like that. So, like, your one opportunity to make it, like, a nice rainforest or a nice grassy area really comes down to Dendro and you threw it away. Like, save the desert for fire. Like, Put in a volcano, like, you know, like, there's so much more you could have done for fire. That, like, you, you just killed it, like. Ha! <laughs> Where <Right> am I? <laughs> I can totally see that. I, I totally see that. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. So, Mikazuki, how are you doing? It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, 
cruel and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Abjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Hadakens know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catacans stand no chance against them. Well, that's fair. Surely pay for their arrogance. I think that's fair. You think that's very fair. Without this rain, the Catacans would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But the people will die. And you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakafasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. The rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. New splash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. Damn. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. <laughs> nice. Nice roll on it. <laughs> Bye. Can I not go on stage? I don't want to go on stage yet. are in place it's time for the show to begin this act is dedicated to you I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you K 
Danke, Kavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. That would be a pretty then sick Then I twist. would be quite happy to make that wager. Listen, I I do a lot of, like, Japanese, like, uh, like, voice Is acting and English trans, uh, Hello. subs. That's how I, I watch anime. The so I get Express it. I get navigator. it. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. <laughs> Uh, pleasure to meet you. You can call me Clocky. Uh, hello? <laughs> None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. Interesting. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Tianzhou. Uh, I am the bone of my back. Celeron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again, <laughs> but it's Love a good it. vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery, I totally forgot March was even involved in this. All this. The, <laughs> the path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But. Where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. There it the is. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites them to Clock Studios Theme Park. Yep, so... Walt Disney. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Walt Disney World. Should Got both it. the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Let's do it. But let's do it tomorrow. All right, y'all. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really, really, really helps out the channel. All that jazz. We'll be back on tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern with some more Honkai Star Rail playthrough stuff. We we're gonna check out the Clock Studios theme park and pretty much walk right into uh, Adventuring's kind of trap, essentially, more or less. So, and we're gonna see uh, what Chewie's got planned for us. But guys, that's it from me all. Take care, be safe, make wise choices. Don't do anything too stupid. Thank you guys for being saviors, but I'm out of here. Peace, y'all.